the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 16, Paul writes, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew and also to the Greek. It's amazing, my friends, when we see individuals have the opportunity to share their faith and they do not back down. Hubert Davis has been announced as the new head coach of the Tar Heels of the University of North Carolina. And because of that, he had a press conference. And in that press conference, he was given the opportunity to share his faith. He did not back down, and I'm so glad of that. Listen to what he has to say. Is firmly in my relationship with Jesus. He just is. And my mother was a Christian. And she begged me to go to church growing up. And I didn't want to go. I wasn't interested in it. My mom used to always say that Jesus had a plan for me, plans for a hope and a future, plans not to harm you, plans to prosper you, Jeremiah 29, 11. And at the time growing up, I didn't understand it and I didn't listen to it. And when my mom passed away two days before my junior year of high school, I grew a tremendous hate towards God. And for the two years that I was here at Carolina, the same way. And the reason being is I just couldn't understand all the things that my mom was telling me about Jesus loving me and having a plan and a purpose for me. And I didn't understand any reason why he would take away my mom. I'm 50 years old, and I miss her more now than I did when I was 16 when she passed away. She didn't get to see me run out of that tunnel. She didn't get to see me play here. She didn't get to see me drafted. She didn't get to see me play in the NBA. She didn't meet my wife. She wasn't at our wedding. She, she hasn't been with my kids. She's not physically here today. And one of the things that Coach Smith used to do was to make all the freshmen go to church. And as I went to church, only because Coach Smith and Coach Guthridge encouraged me to go to church, I started to understand what my mom was talking about. I was started to understand the sacrifice that Jesus has made for me and how much he loves me. And two days before my junior year of college, I became a Christian. And instead of being upset that Jesus has taken away the most beautiful person in my life and my mom, I'm thankful every day that he gave me the best mom that I could ever have for 16 years. She's here. She's here. She's here every day. The way I try to meet, treat my wife, she's here every day. The way I try to treat my children. And so my faith in Christ is the foundation of who I am. And when I say that I will walk this path in my own shoes and my personality, my own shoes and my personality is my faith. Now, would you be that bold to be willing to profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in front of all the news media? Would you be willing to admit that it's Jesus Christ who transformed your life? Or would you just simply say God and never acknowledge his son? I'm so glad that Coach Dean Smith that he took the opportunity to encourage his players. When Hubert Davis was playing for Dean Smith, he encouraged them to get connected to a church and to attend church. And because of that, we know that Hubert Davis, he accepted Christ and now his life has been changed because of following Jesus Christ. I encourage you, you might not ever coach a, a college basketball team. You might not ever stand before 
the news media and have a camera put in your face. You might not ever have the newspaper interview you, but my friends, when you do have the opportunity to share your faith in Jesus Christ, do so. Never be ashamed of the good news because it is the good news that saves not only Carolina fans, but can save fans of any team and even those who don't have a team to pull for. God bless you and thank you for watching another episode of Transforming Lives.